Is fast design at odds with sustainability? And if we know change is necessary, how do we create systems that needn't come at a cost? That's what we're here to discuss at this Mix Roundtable with Interface. The word trend is a difficult word because I think it can sound like it's very prescriptive and it doesn't allow for a more open-minded approach to design. And I think if it's restrictive, then it's less creative and it can lead to, to more consumption. I think trends do still matter. Um, I think it's the definition of trend um, that will evolve over time so that it's not just colours and textures and materials that are used, but the spaces that are created uh, and the way that we use spaces and they become a trend in themselves. It used to be that trends were a lot slower and now it feels like trends happen every three months, four months, five months, which feels very wasteful. So change for the sake of tr a trend doesn't really feel like the right approach to me. I think it's inherently unsustainable for um, this desire for change, but it's inherently unavoidable as well. Um, so I think the way that we design needs to be versatile and adaptable so that we can count for that within the progression of your spaces being utilised, used, etc. I think education is definitely key. So it's not just educating ourselves, but it's also educating then the client. I think we forget sometimes as a designer how much power we actually have and we have a responsibility actually to you know share that knowledge with the clients, inform them of you know what are those small changes that we can do that are going to make a big difference. The way that we change the mindset of our clients is reassurance, giving them some um, comfort that maybe spending a little bit more extra money or extra time um, to develop things and get things right is important. Um, I think we also need to be able to say no and be a little bit um, declarative and say this is our stance as designers. It's our own responsibility um, and I think it's our obligation to pass that on to our clients. You know, there is a dichotomy between having something new and having something sustainable and I think people do always think new is better. A good way to approach design is to look at what's already there and I think that's one of the mantras of our practice is, you know, good des design is as much about seeing what's there as it is about creating something new. I think obviously the development of how offices have been used over the last two, three years post-Covid has really shown us how um, spaces are utilised in certain different ways and that becomes a trend in itself. This varies from um, different jobs to different buildings to different clients. So trends will be very micro specific to different areas. So rather than kind of broad trends of bold statement colour, we'll be seeing more um, niche specific trends I think and the definition of trend therefore changes. Thank you.